Hi, I'm Peter Bell, head of R&D at North Windsurfing. We're here to run you through some tuning cues on the racing sail. The racing sail is a quite deep platform on the bottom as far as draft goes, especially in the front. You'll see, especially if you compare it to a foil version, for example, that the entry is quite a bit deeper, especially below the boom, still slightly just above the boom, and then it tapers down to be quite flat uh, with a little bit of shaping in the top to control the head. One thing that you see, which is a trend that we're following based on what we learned on the foil sails, is that we are dropping off a little bit on the leech right above the boom. This seems to help the sails reduce the backhand pressure and increase your top speed. So you do see a bit of excess material right here, if you want to look at it this way, which allows this baton to be very straight and a little bit more open. But to compensate for the lack of fin, fin pressure by doing this, we are keeping the leech a little bit tighter at four, three and two to make sure that we keep the sail bending, we keep some fin pressure and you keep the board in trim at all times. So the leech dropping off at this area is completely normal as part of the design and it's gonna help the sail to perform better. For the downhole tension, on these sails, there's quite a high downhole tension. We are doing this partially to squeeze the air cam and get a really nice, efficient shape at the loft of the sail, especially on the windward side. These sails are quite flat on the windward side and then S-ing back into the battens which are in the back. Um, this is allowing the sails to cut through the wind really, really easily while being really, really stable and extremely efficient over a really big wind range. For the downhole tension, there's a little bit of play that you can do based on your board trim, but it's very minimal the amount of adjustment you can do on the downhole. There pretty much is one sweet spot um, and it's slightly depending on the board trim. So if your board is trimming slightly lower, so uh, if you have a board that's riding quite flat, you might want to put just a little bit more downhole tension. It will lift the nose slightly. If you have a board that's really loose on the water, you can ride the sail with a slight reduction in downhole tension to bring the nose down a little bit and get really nice control on the board. For the outhole, we can definitely uh, do with a little bit of adjustment. I personally like to ride my outhole a little bit loose, giving me a little bit deeper dra draft in the sail, a little bit more drive off the fin and allows me to fly the board a little bit easier. However, if you have a board that already flies really easily, you maybe want to add a little bit of outhole, positive outhole tension. So the ideal outhole setting I would say is from about neutral, which is when you can wiggle the sail around 10 millimeters. And from there you can tune a little bit in or out depending on your needs. I highly recommend to use a product like this with an adjustable outhole, R180 and 195 booms come from the factory with an adjustable outhole kit already installed and threaded internally. For the 165, it's very easy to install an outhole kit, which allows you to adjust the outhole on the fly. This is gonna give you the maximum performance and the maximum wind range, and it's really gonna help you to get the most out of the sail. For the batten tension, I highly recommend to first tension the sleeve battens before actually rigging the sail for the first time. Just make sure that you remove the wrinkles and add a little bit of tension. If you do this before breaking the sail, you'll very easily see when the material starts to take tension and it's really easy to get equal tension on the top side as well as on the bottom side. Then for the battens which are in the back, foot batten, maximum tension, making a nice profile on the foot, locking the draft in. The cross batten, we can have a quite high tension, not maximum, but still some tension because you want to have some draft in this batten to make sure the sail is giving us plenty of drive. And then at this baton, we can start playing with the tension a little bit. If you're riding the sail in overpowered or really rough conditions, you can use a little bit less baton tension, allowing the leech to open a little bit better or a little bit easier. While if you're riding in some flat water or some more controlled conditions or a little bit less wind, you can tighten this baton. It will tighten the leech and it will give you a little bit more drive. The batons above that for four, three and two, I would say min minimal tension, just remove the wrinkles in the sail and that's it. And then the top baton, you can put some tension if your top panel, for example, is slightly too open, a little bit of batten tension on the top batten will control that panel back in, will load the sail nicely from the top, keep the draft nice and locked down low and give you the maximum performance. For the air cam on the Generation 2 sails, we've reduced the pressure a little bit. We've done this to try and slim the entry a little bit. So we're trying to keep a nice entry on this side, especially on the race sail. But we're trying to make it a little bit thinner on this side so the sail cuts through the wind a little bit easier. So having a little bit less bulging on the windward side is actually optimizing this profile that we have of a wing shape. Um, and by achieving that, we are also reducing the pressure in the air cam. So when we're pumping the air cam, we're simply checking the very front of the sail and we're only pushing the mast until it is just touching the front of the sail. And we can do this by pressing on the sail and you'll feel if the mast is actually 
pushing into the front of the sail or, or if you need to put a little bit more pressure. So I would say pump a few pumps. You'll see the mast moving forward. As soon as you start to see the sail getting a little bit thicker, tap a few times with the finger and see if you feel the mass right here. Always check at the splitter because here there might be a little excess material where at the splitter there shouldn't be any excess material as the mass is pushed all the way forward. So we're only putting enough pressure to just bring the mass to touch the front of the sail and that's it and that will give you the optimum performance.